<laughs> it's market prep day. It's market eve. <laughs> this is going to be our first market <laughs> of 2024. Yes. So we're very excited. Yeah. Hi, by the way. <laughs> welcome. Welcome back to our channel. She's Maddie. I'm Janet. We have a market and tomorrow. Our, uh, our crochet business is called Grady by Nature. We are in the land of a hundred whips. Yes. Well, you are. <laughs> this is my house. So. This is her house. I'm her daughter. If yes. you knew here. <laughs> she doesn't live here. No. But she works here. Yes. <laughs> we just wanted to introduce ourselves again because I feel like we have a lot of new uh, subscribers. Stay thank hydrated. You. Yes. Thank you Go to ahead. all the new subscribers. We're assuming it's for the crochet videos. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but we have a lot of work to do. Yeah. We Normally do. we would like to have a lot of this stuff ready, like signs and all that, way more in advance and not the day before, but... You know what the last thing you should do before a market is? What? Buy Sleep? five new patterns. Oh, yeah. We can do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Just real quick, this is a custom order that I'm working on right now. It's, it's for so a dragon. Cute. I still have to put the tail details, the wings, and the ears, but it's coming out so cute, and this pattern is by um, Svetla Art Shop on... Etsy and her patterns I just love because the shaping is always so on point like yeah. look at woo, girl <laughs> so cute and this is a low sew pattern yeah um so yes I got my half finished cat over there <laughs> calico cat sitting yes so chicken <laughs> ice cream pops yeah right now it's a mess <laughs> the goal is rework all the signs so we like to do um the chalkboard signs Mm -hmm. And some of them are better than others. Like these are pretty good. These we got on Amazon because they were those actually for like your wedding or we bought those. These were after. after. Oh. These will actually like erase. Yeah. <laughs> um, the ones that I had at my wedding last year, which we used for like food signs and stuff, these do not erase as well. Oh. I haven't tried to erase this yet, but yeah, some of these in the past you can see like it says sourdough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it has remnants of other things. Sorry, I'm just like reading what this says. This is like something Danish. <laughs> you know what we could do with that? What? We could get some of that Ooh. spray chalkboard paint. I think you can even get stickers to put yeah. over it and like erasable. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if we're going to salvage any of those ones, but I have all of these ones that I uh, washed off yesterday so yeah. that I could redo them because we do have <laughs> price changes from last year. Last year was our first uh, year doing markets, and we were severely undercutting ourselves, and we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> Only sort of. You know what? It got, it got us we going. It got confidence, us in the you know, door. Yeah. So It's fine, daughter. Right. So fine. we're going to be a little bit nicer to ourselves this year. I think we still have competitive prices, but we want to make sure that we are actually well, sorry. like... <laughs> Have I mentioned that I've been crocheting for the last few hours since I got up? Yeah, that's crazy. And I fell asleep crochet. I had a frog so many times last night because I kept falling asleep. That's when you know it's time to pack it in. For the I know, but I couldn't. Well, this year is also different because instead of just using these signs, we're also going to be using individual tags for some of yeah, the items. Yeah, we've never used tags before. Because we have a lot more like one-offs this year. Mm-hmm. Um, of just like things that it wouldn't make sense to have a sign for it. Yeah. So we have to make the tags and I already have a bunch of them written out, but I still have a long way to go. Yeah. And then we have to put the tags on the items and we also have to hold auditions and see who from our inventory will be joining us tomorrow. Cause we have, we've been working hard over the winter to start getting a, you know, get a head start on this market season. Cause we yes. want to go bigger and better than last year. Way bigger, way better. Yeah. So we will check in in a little bit. Oh, we also got, just before we go away, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys the whole process. So uh, another thing that I like to have at these markets is like a written price sheet. If you want to see our prices for markets, you can just screenshot this or whatever, yeah. pause the video. But yeah, um, I like to have a written list because, you know, if something happens yeah. to a sign or whatever, this is... But isn't um, all that on Square? Yeah, but what if your phone stops working or something? Yeah. I like having the actual prices written down because it is you, me, and my sister will be there as well. Right. Um, Who we are teaching how to crochet this weekend. Yeah. So she'll be joining the family business. So we're going to be the three hookers. Right. <laughs> this sheet is all of our stuff that, like, I hope to have at... Okay. 
a lot of different markets. This sheet is like specials where it's like one or two. Right. What, like it might be at this market, but it's not going to be at this market. Right. That might be on Etsy, maybe not. Yeah. And then we also got on clearance at Michael's these dry erase signs. I love those. Signs. I think these are supposed to go on like one of those carts. Like a it's cart made for that. or like a wire crate or something like that. We're just going to use them however we can. <laughs> I think those would work on the wooden crates. Yeah. Um, so all of these signs are going to be for things that have like multiples, like the keychains. Right. Um, There's more room to write. Right. Or like some of our items, we have a small version and a big version. So mm -hmm. I'm going to put like what it is, small, large, and then the prices right. for them so that it's not taking up as many chalkboard signs and it's just clean and makes sense. So. Yeah. And we can change it. Yeah. For a different market or. Yeah. Whatever. So we have like nine of these, mm -hmm. which is cool. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to work on some of these signs and then we'll be back in a bit. Um, I'm going to work on reducing some of the whips in here. Yeah, please do that. Because <laughs> I need to work on, uh, these chicken rooster chickens. I call them these, this one still needs wings. Um, this one, this purple one over here is not even as done as that one. Oh, I just love that one. This was the Hobby Lobby yarn mm -hmm. that I wasn't so sure about when we went there because Hobby Lobby doesn't have coupons. What the heck? I also am not like a big supporter of Hobby Lobby because of their stance, stance on some things. <laughs> yeah. Not cool. Um... But yeah, we just decided to go in the other day just to see what they had. and I mean, they had a couple of things that I bought. I mostly work with chenille for plushies, so there wasn't a huge chenille selection. And the stuff that they did have, it looked like it was pretty good quality, but you don't get a lot on a skein. And like yeah. you said, there's no coupons, so it's like... Mm. Well, you prefer Michael's because you're mostly I'm chenille. a Michael's girl. <laughs> I'm a Joanne's girl because I like the big twists and I, yeah. and I like the Burnett. And we both um, didn't like Hobby Lobby very much. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is from Hobby Lobby. Pretty, and though. it's it's pretty, but it was kind of tough to work with. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, I like this. Uh, this is from Michaels. This is one of the only chenilles that I really enjoy using. The, the, um, the full-sized sweet, uh, snuggles. sweet snuggles. Yeah. So... There you have it. All right. We'll be back. See you in a bit. Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> I am losing my mind. All right. So we just kind of came to the conclusion that we have way too much stuff to bring. We're in the second guessing phase right now where we're like, how big is this market even going to be? Okay. So I don't even, even know if we said this, but this market is at a private school. Right. Uh, but it has good exposure road traffic right so we don't really have any affiliation with this school. school it's just a local school but <laughs> <laughs> i'm losing my mind <laughs> i had all these plans of what we were gonna bring and then like now i'm like we're bringing too much stuff like this is only <laughs> this is a disaster most of the stuff that i have down here right now is stuff that we've made recently that isn't even on our etsy yet yeah um and I'm further freaking her out by saying, wait, these chickens, we already priced them, but extra large, large, medium, medium? This lady is killing me. <laughs> Small? So, like... We're not planning uh, on individually tagging all of these no, birds. No, 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 no. And... No, but if you had a bird sign, we gotta redo it, because... It's extra large, it's jumbo, extra large. These two, I think, can be large and small. <laughs> so, like, okay, we have very different um, styles. Like, I like to do a lot of the same, like, uniform. Blah, 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 blah. I don't. <laughs> so that I can have, like, groups of things. You like to make... Th then there's nothing wrong with this. It's just hard to marry the two. I know. You do a lot of, like, the same pattern with different yarn. And, and hook size. Yeah, and which is great. But, like, <laughs> when I'm trying to organize it, I'm just like, what? <laughs> Extra large. Large. What do you guys do in this situation? Do you small. just individually tag or what? No, like, just I don't put want it on to. the sign. 
<laughs> Extra large. <laughs> large. <laughs> Medium. Small. <laughs> also, I'm just feeling so insecure about how much stuff we're bringing because I don't want to look like a psycho that's showing up with like thousands of dollars of inventory and, and then there's and like 10 customers. Show. Is 10 optimistic? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Extra I don't know what to expect. large. Large. <laughs> Extra large. Large. Medium. Small. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And I also just realized that this cow has two different size eyes. And I was wondering why... It's, you could barely notice that, though. That's like an extra large, large. Extra large, Enough. <laughs> large, <laughs> medium, small. <laughs> it's not a big deal. You're making it a big deal. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> We're going to figure this out. It is 2.30. I need to leave ah! in a few hours. Um, I have people coming over my apartment oh, later. <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. I still need to shower, too. Like, we have things to do, and um, this is not going well. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Don't worry, daughter. We'll figure it out. All right. The good news is I don't really have to make too much more. <laughs> Stop I... making things. You're done. You're done. <laughs> you can make things after I leave for the night. But All right. while I'm here, you're done. <laughs> All right. All right. Deal. Okay. I can't make this up. <laughs> we're sitting here having a nice lunch, relaxing, thinking about what we're going to do Little after Vanderpump lunch. Little Vanderpump Rules palate cleanser. And the power goes out. And what is the one thing Sean is terrified of? When the power goes out. Yeah. So now... Um, it's too much. Not only do we have to deal with trying to get this inventory together, we have to deal with Sean freaking out about the power. What happened oh, over okay? here? It's okay, baby boy. <laughs> he said, I'm in my nest. I'm yeah. clucking. <laughs> I'm in my nest clucking. Oh, why don't you comfort him and make him feel a little bit better? Friends! Yeah. Hey, baby? Oh, you want to snuggle? She wants to Bowie. snuggle with him so bad. I know. Get they in there! They haven't really snuggled yet. Get in there, Scoopy! At least go in your little thing over here. She's got her crocheted um, <laughs> cat bed on her uh, scratching post hammock, so... Oh, can you please stop licking the chair? <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Good morning. Oh it's my. market day. Woo. I stayed up late. <laughs> Not yeah. too late. I've been later. I was up pretty late because uh, my friends were over for D&D. My husband was DMing last night. Uh -huh. um, the master. Yeah. And of course I was having fun, but also we were getting into like 11 o'clock territory and I was like, hey, we're going to be wrapping up soon. Like I need to still get ready for bed and stuff. And like I need to... Put the, we need to break down the table, which we were using like for D and D. Right. Ah. But yeah. Um. <laughs> I think I ended up going to bed around twelve forty-five or so. Yeah, that's when I went. Yeah, which is early for me on a regular it night. Is early for me too. But I'm not a morning person, and I got up at six forty-five this morning, and I wanted to cry. <laughs> 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 but it's okay. We're here. We're ready. It's not raining. I think it's gonna be pretty chilly today, yeah. which sucks because it's April. Warmers. Yeah. I have, I'm wearing my Christmas present, my heated vest. Lucky. My husband bought just specifically for outdoor markets. Even some indoor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but at um, Pickle Fest, we were indoors and it was still freezing. Yeah, can you believe that? I'm wearing my winter coat right now and it's April, uh, what's today? It's almost tax day. <laughs> April 13th. Um, but that's what it is in New York. You never know what you're gonna get. Yep. So we are all loaded up. Uh, we did end up taking two cars today. Luckily, my sister is coming with us for this one. I think she's gonna be coming with us more. So yeah. that's exciting. Wow. Well, but she's getting her first crochet lesson today. Yes. So she is in the other car with a lot of stuff. A lot. <laughs> we would not have made it in one car today. I don't know what we were thinking. We definitely packed way too much. Also, just the crates that we use now. They take up so much space, but we'll have we to figure have, it out. We used to have so many more buckets, and how did we do it? I don't know. I think we have way more inventory than we did before. Like, Maybe. way more. Um, we're going to have to really learn how to pare it down because... Um, yeah, I think we're taking way too much today. We're but very bad at that. 
there's just too many. Yeah, so, all right, we're gonna be there in a few minutes, not too far, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be setting up soon. <gasps> Oh, oh, hi, there you are on your phone. Well, doing I was last setting up the square. I know. <laughs> All right, so here's the display. We had such a nice uh, choice spot. Loved it. Uh, we had frontal views and we had sidal views as well. Sidal? Yes. Um, we weren't happy with this whole setup. Like um, our personal setup. Yeah. It was just, it's too much. It's too much altogether. You can't see the individual items. So we're definitely going to be working on this. Uh, at our next market and making sure it's more clean and yeah less chaotic <laughs> yeah people bought mostly from the side I feel like this calico cat got the most play of the day mm. but nobody uh, put a ring on it so <laughs> yeah How's it going? <laughs> it's good. We got um, 55 oh, minutes left. Yeah. Um, it's been going well. Yeah. My in-laws stopped by, which was so nice. They're so sweet. Yeah, they really were. Yes. They and support. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's been some pretty good traffic coming through. Yeah. I have to say. We sold a good amount. Yeah. It was a little bit of a slow start this morning, but then it really picked up, and everybody's been so sweet. So. We're going to have to refill these bags soon enough. Huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we brought a lot of stuff. Yeah. But um, I'm very happy with how it's been going so far. Excellent. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> it's a mess in here. Home again, home again. So, yeah, the uh, craft fair market exploded in the dining room. <laughs> we still have a lot it's of stuff everywhere. Because we brought a lot. We have a lot <laughs> upstairs, too. Yeah. Oh, bags and bags and bags yeah. and boxes. And it was a good time, though. We did pretty good. Yeah. But we'll show you guys in We're the breakdown. We're going to do a market breakdown. <laughs> so <laughs> we will do that very soon. But we just wanted to show you what it looks like when we get home. And it's a mess. And it's raining out, too. Yes. So we had to just, like, Put shove everything. There and go. Yeah. <laughs> shove it. Yeah. So now, if you saw things that you liked, uh, they will be up on our Etsy mm -hmm. sometime this week, hopefully. First things are first, I got to see what was already on Etsy that we sold. Yeah. That I have to take off but um if you don't see anything you like we also do custom orders we do we do do custom orders <laughs> yes we do do <laughs> so just shoot us a message but yeah. um yeah we have a lot of organizing to do yes it's the day after the market wow and we're here to talk did you about recover <laughs> i think i did it wasn't too bad what was it like five hours well okay so just to review this was a market at a local school. It was like one or two towns over from us. One town over. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was, we got there at 8, around 8.30. Mm -hmm. or we were planning to get there around 8.30. And then we had about an hour and a half to set up. The market officially started at 10. Right, to 3. To 3. It was originally supposed to be outside. Right. But they did have a rain plan that if it, the weather was bad, they were going to move it indoors, which they did. Which is awesome. And I'm so happy that they did that. pouring and freezing that day. Yeah. Not was, when we got there, though, we were like, oh, it's inside? Because mm -hmm. we thought it was going to be outside. Yeah, but it was raining on and off all day. They did have a bouncy house outside, but that did not stop the kids from... <laughs> like, the rain did not stop them from playing. I'm glad they that had a good time with that. a soggy bouncy house. Because it didn't even have, like, a roof on it. Yeah. Well, they did a really good job organizing this event. They they did, and um, we had a great spot. We did have a great spot. We were on a corner, which is like my favorite. I love being on a corner. Because we do the L shape, and we have uh, two sides. People can see your stuff from, yeah. Right. So we really like that. Um, overall, I really enjoyed the event. I would do it again. Yeah. It was definitely on the smaller side compared to other events that we've gone to. I feel like if the weather had been better... It would have definitely been more Yeah, bigger. I agree with that. They also had a tricky tray going on in the other room, which was bringing a lot of people in, and we noticed that there was a, a huge wave of people around the, the time. the tricky tray. Yeah, around Before the time they were going to be reading the, the yeah. numbers out. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even know what a tricky tray was until yesterday, but yeah, me now I know. <laughs> but yes, definitely love the event. Mm -hmm. And um, let me see. So we do have a breakdown oh. of... How we did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our booth fee for this event was $50. So cheap. This is the cheapest one that we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> we've never had $50. I think our lowest before that was $75. So 75, that was yeah. very exciting. Um, and my goal for this event was to hit $500. Right. Because I knew it was going to be a little on the smaller side. Mm -hmm. 
and we surpassed that. So I'm very yeah. excited about that. I will tell you guys the grand total after we go through. And this was our first market of 2024. Yes, this was our first market of 2024. So we were really working out the kinks. And I will say, I feel like our display was sloppy and chaotic. It was terrible. <laughs> it was sloppy and chaotic. I was not 100% sure. I'm not sure, but I wasn't 100% happy with I wasn't how happy we had everything. It. No. Um, we also just brought way too much stuff. We really we, need to. We brought things that we didn't even put out. We brought so much stuff that we didn't put out. We didn't have room. Yeah. So there was some stuff that just stayed in the bags the entire time. Like mm -hmm. there were no colors of it at all on the tables. And I have to say this market, people really weren't looking for bigger items. Definitely medium. Like we didn't even smell, spell. <laughs> Sell. sell that many small ones it yeah, was really a lot of mediums we sell out of the octos and yeah i i think the way that they were displayed they just weren't even like super no. visible so you didn't bring the coffin i know i, I we wouldn't have had room for it anyway i no. couldn't find i have a little coffin tray that i like to put the mini ghosts in but i didn't even put the ghost out we this time because i was just like no. we don't have room we're we're saving these so yeah yeah, let's go through um, what's sold. We're not going to break it down order by order, but instead yeah. I have a tally of all of the items right. that did sell. With, we'll put a picture and up, too. We'll, we will put a picture up to show you. Mm -hmm. So we sold one chick with a frog hat. Wow, you only sold one of those? I know. Quite a few people looked at them. Um, yeah, some people picked them up, brought them over to their parents or whatever. Or like, yeah. There was this one girl that was coming back like six times. She was... <laughs> So I, oh, a chick in a hat. Yeah. Uh, so that was $8. Mm -hmm. uh, we sold a booty turtle. Woo! That was the one where you take the shell off and there's a butt underneath. Uh, that was $18. And I that thought one, that more people would have gotten that, but no. I think I need in the future, I only had two for this market, but in the future I want to have a bunch and have at mm -hmm. least one with the shell off. So like you can with just the back see, out. yeah, you can just see what yeah. the, there's a butt under there. Butt out. But I actually, when my in-laws were there, I showed that to my niece. Um, and she's, she looked at you like, she's five years old and I thought she would get a kick out of it, but I showed her and she was just like, she was horrified. <laughs> She Maybe too young for that. Fun. I don't know. I thought she would have found it silly. But Who she was would like, want no. this? <laughs> anyway, she's funny though. Mm -hmm. um, we sold a marble chicken for $18. Right? That's a chicken with makes look like a marble notebook. Yeah, I really like those. Those yeah. were substantial. So yeah, that's were. a nice pattern. Uh, we sold five yellow chicks for ten dollars oh. a piece. My mother in law actually bought four of those. Oh my god! I had she wanted five, but I didn't have another one by that point because those are all for my nieces and nephew. Right. Um. So yeah, that was awesome mm -hmm. of her to buy those. Um. We sold one alligator for fifteen dollars. Mm. We sold only three mini octos for five dollars a piece. That's crazy because I every know. single those, market that we've ever been to, those usually sell out very quickly. Yeah, they've sold out so quickly. Yeah, I think um, those need to be displayed. Yeah, better because they were kind of just like in a basket. Dumped in a basket. We need them like. Yeah. You know, uh, we're gonna be working on our display moving forward because again, we were not happy. We with weren't it. happy with the display <laughs> at all. I think last year we just didn't have as much stuff, so it didn't matter. But now that we have more things we want to showcase, we need mm -hmm. more space between them. We, we need, need better utilized space. Yes. Um, okay. We sold, uh, we had one tiny cat and we sold it for $7. <laughs> this cat was so cute. That cat was a mistake because that cat was supposed to uh, be one of these other cats that we'll also put a picture of here. And it just didn't come together and it was the crappiest yarn it was that <laughs> chenille that got so shreddy. shreddy but it was so cute it was, it was such adorable a great size. and the little girl was so thrilled with I it i would call that a happy accident in that i'm okay because i think you should make more at that size okay uh we sold one big possum for 27 dollars. Mm -hmm. always a winner i love those <laughs> um we sold one mallard duck for 12 dollars mm -hmm. that's a debut duck that's yes, new. we haven't had this this yeah. before. Uh, the big, big seller, this is our biggest seller of the day, mm -hmm. was the small rat. We sold yes. seven rats. I had two different colors, white and gray. Right. So we sold seven. I don't remember what the color breakdown was of what sold. but Wasn't one of the people who bought uh, one of the rats somebody who had seen us for the third time? Yes, in which was so cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, in, in far away, different... Uh, venues. Yeah, so that yeah. was really awesome. You could tell they like to support local crafters, so mm -hmm. thank you so much. And they love rodents. Yes. So we sold seven rats, $15 mm -hmm. a piece, so that was like the big winner of the day for sure. Yep. 
Um, we sold two land turtles. That's the tofu, the turtle pattern for twelve dollars each. All underneath. Yep. Uh, we sold one mouse. Now the mice were not even out because we did not right. have room for them. But when we had a few rodent lovers come up to the table, we were like, "Wait, we also have to show you this." <laughs> and they did end up buying a mouse. Yes. So that was eight dollars for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we sold two of these small possums for right. seventeen dollars each. I just. Their faces are everything. <laughs> They're I so have, cute. I have one out right outside my bathroom that I bought the big her. one. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just like so happy every time I come out of the bathroom and see it. <laughs> They're just adorable. I love that pattern mm -hmm. from QB Crochet. Uh, we sold four whale keychains. That, that was, was a popular my one. First uh, keychain. Yes. That I made. On... This is the first time we had keychains at all. Right. So those were eight dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. One lady bought three because those were for her grandchildren. Right. Um. So very very cute. Mm -hmm. Uh. We sold one mini whale five dollars. Right. I thought again like the octos we would have sold a ton of those, but they were in the same little they area. Were in the same. And yeah. Same situation. They I don't think they had enough visibility. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually sold one of my big brontosauruses, which was yeah. awesome. That was $45. And the same lady that bought that bought two of the smaller brontos for, I think these were all for her grandchildren. Would and you call that Big Jim and the twins? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was so sweet because the smaller brontos were 25 The big one was 45 So mm -hmm. her order came out to $95. Right. And she just handed me a $100 bill and said to keep the change. And I was like, oh my God, you're amazing. Thank That's you. That's wonderful. <laughs> that was so sweet of her. Yeah. Um... Okay, and then we sold two corgis, eighteen dollars each. Also a new item. Yes, I was very excited. You were thrilled with that pattern too. I love that pattern. I'm yeah. making so many more of those. Um, Especially since we have a dog and cat yes, adoption our next event, event coming up. Oh my god, I can't wait. Uh, I think those they were visible, but they were kind of like back a little bit. I yeah. think it was hard to see them. They were in one of the crates. Because they were in the crate. There was like stuff underneath. in front of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think those will do really well at other events, but right. for this one we sold the two, which I was happy with. Mm -hmm. um, we sold two leggy froggies for $7 a piece. Everybody loves the leggy froggies, and a lot of people picked them up, but then they were like, no. Yeah. <laughs> this was our first time with the leggy froggies. Right. I don't know if we missed the wave on this, because I know they were super, super popular, mm -hmm. or if it was just like they weren't for this market. I don't know. Um, but we have a bunch of them, so mm -hmm. we'll be bringing them every time, and we'll see how they do. Uh, we sold one of your stand-up cows. Stand-up cow with that a makes strawberry like purse. It's, yeah, it's like a stand-up comedian cow. Yeah. <laughs> we should have one that's like holding a microphone. Uh, Twenty. Uh, yeah, $27. The little girl was thrilled with it. She thought it was beautiful. Yes, that was very fun. Mm -hmm. She um, was sweet. We sold one of the All From Jade Caterpillars and an All From Jade Ladybug. Mm -hmm. Those were both for my sister-in-law, so I did give a discounted price. Mm -hmm. um, All together, those were 25 with the discount. Right. Um, and I hope that, I think she got them for her nieces, so mm -hmm. I hope they like them. Good. <laughs> it was very sweet that they were there to support yeah. us. Um, we sold... Only one bee. One bee for $15. Usually the bees fly out of there, literally. Yeah. I think it's still um, too too early in yeah, the year. Yeah, like I think That's summer, summer thing. will really be getting into bee season. Or maybe mm -hmm. people are tired of them. I don't know. But could be. We'll see. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, only one chonky mushroom boy. That's shocking. That was surprising to me because those were humongously popular last year. Guess they're out of fashion now. They could be out of fashion or it could just be, again, our display was... Display they were kind of tucked in there. bad and... I, th I feel like that's an outdoor music festival Yeah, like an type outside of item. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they were... Like a street fair. Yeah. Uh, that one was $8. I mm -hmm. think, too, um, I feel like kind of like the teens and like older yeah, there appreciate wasn't those more. a lot of kids and teens at this event. It was mostly older people. Which, yeah, there was a few of that's the same kids our, running around. That's not but, our demographic. Yeah. Um, we do find that these are the most popular with, like, the teens and, and, college, the, students. and college students. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm glad I have a bunch of those ready to go, though, for the future. Oh, <laughs> like, absolutely. I don't need to make them for a little bit, which is absolutely. cool. Absolutely. Uh, we sold one Stingray for $15. Again, Stingrays have always gotten so much play. I think I only had, like, two on the table because there just wasn't room. <laughs> that is a thing, too. I think yeah. sometimes when people only see one or two of something. They're like, oh. Some people want something where there's only one. I don't one. want leftovers. Right. But some people are like, it's just more visually appealing to them to see, like, mm -hmm. I keep hearing three to five. Like, you always three an to odd five number. on the table. Yeah. Odd numbers are always the best. 
Uh, we sold one sea turtle for $15. Again, this is usually like one of our Selling most popular out. items. Selling out. I think um, people just didn't see it. Maybe they, I don't know, they had other stuff going on. But mm -hmm. uh, we also sold one big sea turtle for $25. Right. And it's interesting because I find that the most popular big sea turtles that I sell mm -hmm. are pink on pink. So really? like light pink with hot pink or like something like that. Hmm. They seem to sell even faster than like the traditional, the traditional green colors, colors, green on green, which is or interesting. green on uh, brown. Yeah, and then we sold. Oh, I didn't sell that. <laughs> the last thing is just. Uh, well, I sold the big sea turtle, but then we right. didn't sell. I gave my sister the big strawberry fruit snail um, to thank her for helping us out, and she loved it. <laughs> she yes. loved it. So, but our yeah, great. Uh, it was great a great day. event, yeah. So I thought it was great for the size of the crowd. I, th I was really happy mm -hmm. with how we did. We sold a total of 50 items. Mm -hmm. Isn't that weird? 50 yes. on the dot. <laughs> yeah. And that gave us a total in sales of $692. Wow. Which was awesome. Again, mm -hmm. the booth fee was 50 so our profit, not including like materials and all right. that, was 642 Yeah. Mm -hmm. 642 I'm, I'm happy with that. You can't complain about that especially since it was raining yeah i um also i know a lot of people do take their material costs out of the total yeah. i don't do that because i don't just buy like a certain amount of yarn per right. event like i it's just too hard to track so i don't but mm -hmm. <laughs> keep in mind like there are material costs of course their... Yeah, we just, and... we don't, we don't do that. I know somebody was asking how we price our items and we can talk about that more in another video, but yeah. basically I, I think of it more like, I do take, you know, materials somewhat into account, but it's more mm -hmm. like the amount of time that it takes mm -hmm. for me. And then also we try to keep our prices on the lower end just because we want everyone to be able to get something. Right. Um, but we have increased our prices from last year, which Let, were incredibly low. Let's put it this low. way. You're not going to get rich. Uh, crocheting things and selling them. <laughs> it's more of a labor of love. Like you want to share your art yeah. with the community, with who, whoever uh, encounters it. You want to make it affordable for them, but you're never ever going to get back what you put into it. Yeah, not 100%. No. Unless, I mean, some people do if you charge like what yeah. you really I don't, I don't, are owed. I don't but, feel comfortable doing that. Yeah, but if you do that, more power to you. I think that's yeah. awesome. Um, but I, I like to make sure that everybody, it's affordable, mm -hmm. you know, because I don't want it to feel like it's out of reach. Right. All right. Well, that was our market experience for this weekend. We had a great yes. time. And now our next one is coming up in a little under a month. Right. So, so we have more time to prepare. Yes. We still we're have a also, lot of inventory left. Well, but we're still also adding to the inventory because we're plan in coming. Um, this is the, the beginning light part of our season. Right. We're going to be going very heavy in like the fall. The fall, fall and Christmas winter, is going to be the yeah. heaviest time. I think fall is going to be yeah. the busiest for we're us. We're still so. going to do some over the summer. Yes, we are. Yeah. So, but we're really gearing up for the later months. We just really don't want to be in a situation where we are like completely wiped out mm -hmm. after a market. Because so. we've already signed up for some and mm -hmm. it's not like we can back out. And Nor do we know. want to. Exactly. So. <laughs> exactly. So now uh, actually I have to go upstairs and start organizing things and get our Etsy shop off of vacation mode. So yeah. hopefully that will be done by the time you see this video. But Hope so. If you saw anything uh, that you're interested in getting for yourself, mm -hmm. our Etsy link is in the info. And uh, we'll be adding watch more our stuff. Vlog, well, this is the vlog channel. Uh, watch our vlogs, too, because we do talk about what new patterns we're getting yes. and crocheting and adding to the collections. So if you see anything on there, uh, chances are it'll be up on Etsy, too. Mm -hmm. Or just go to Etsy. <laughs> or do both. All right. Whatever. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will be back soon with another crochet video. Hopefully this week. Yes. And until next time, much, much love. love.